What's going on developers and creators out there? My name is Eric in this video I'll show you how to run the Fire on PL project. So this video we're going to be looking at hardware, how to set it up and run in Xilinx uh, Vivado. So for those of you who are not familiar with the project, this is how it works. It's a, you have a, a filter implemented as FPGA fabric of the Xilinx system on a chip FPGA, Zinc. Uh, so you have a bare metal application running in the CPU, which configures a DDS frequency controller custom IP to set the output frequency of the DDS, which puts out a sine wave at a desired frequency. And then you have a sampler RTL module that samples the DDS output and streams that data to a filter. So the, the filter will store the output in a FIFO. And when the FIFO is full, you have the F FIFO full, FIFO full interrupt generated. Uh, custom IP that triggers an interrupt and it causes the CPU to uh, configure the DMA to transfer the data from the FIFO all the way to the DDR uh, memory. So this is how the project works. In this video, we're just going to be looking at the hardware implementation in Vivado. And then we're going to be looking at software development in the next video. After that, we'll look at, you know, if the project is working as, uh, as we, as desired by look by copying that data from the DDR memory and importing it into a uh, MATLAB to see if it works as desired. I'll post a link to this uh, a web page if you would like to uh, play with this, with this design and you are more than welcome to. So you can come here and uh, read about the previous phase which builds up to this design and uh, see what can be helpful to you. So let's jump to what the main goal of the video is. So if you requested the design, it should have a folder set similar to this, where you have common, where you have a, where you find uh, common IPs used in all the face design. Uh, and you have source, which we have your RTL modules and uh, the coefficient file for uh, the filter that will be used to implement the filter. And you also have documentation, which has all the documentation for for how of how this design was created you can come here and uh, there's more details of uh, no specific about for example we have the dds frequency control documentation that talks about how that ip was created and the description of uh, its individual modules so and then you should also have one of these uh fr on pl phase uh, x if you requested two you should have two if you request three you should have three if you request all of them you should have all of them and it should also see uh, MATLAB, which has a script a file that checks the hardware, and checks if the hardware and software is function function as expected. So in this video, we're going to be looking at FR on PL V6. It, I think it's a good example uh, to uh, demonstrate. So let's jump into that folder where you have the file structure. So this is the d development structure that we used. Uh, to develop this project so i'll be talking about uh, each folder as we move forward but let's now let's jump into scripts one of the main uh folder where you have two uh script files again maybe i should mention that uh, maybe i didn't mention it before but this is script based project that means everything will be run based on scripts so we're not going to be configuring or running anything manually so let's look at these two primary uh uh, script files. So you have the build.tcl. So the build.tcl will do three, it's responsible for three things. One of them is to configure Vivado environment. The second is to call phase six uh, BD, which is this file to create block design. And then you have it's responsible for running synthesis implementation and generate bit stream. So let's take a peek inside build.tcl and see what's going on in there. You can see the first set of the code is basically, you know, configuring the heart, configuring Vivado, uh, maybe important file, setting the file to the right settings. And also, and I would like to also point out that I'm setting the board part uh, to the board that I'm using to test the design, to test this design. So you should change this to a uh, board that you're using. So make sure you comment out this line or get rid of it or modify it to the board that you're using. I think it's this line. And I believe there's not this line as well. So set the properties for the board that you use. Or if you run the script as it is, you don't. Ha you might not have this uh, board information in the Vivado you're using. So it will give you an error. So you might want to change this for your own good. 
so if we keep on scrolling down to a section here this is all again this is all setting up the vivaro uh setting for us and uh, there's a section here that calls the face calls face 6 bd this is the second responsibility of this script file to create the block design for us so this line calls or sources face 6 bd which is this file right here and after that we have a section it's small snip of code that says run all selection where it creates a heads uh, sets a variable to yes or a no which pretty much at this point it's an option if you want to run implementation run synthesis and generate bitstream if you set run all to yes and if you set run on to no it will pretty much stop at this point so it basically will configure the Vivado to the right settings, create create the block design, and stop after set it, after uh, creating the block design. That is in case if you want to play with the design, modify, it, uh, and uh, before you even get into running implementations, and this is you might want to set a run null to no. So for the first go around, we're gonna set it to no, and then later on we'll change it to yes. Again, so after run all, it's pretty much doing what I just said: running implementation, running synthesis and uh generating bit string that's not in order it's basically it's running since then you would run implementation then you generate bit string that's the right order and there's actually a section here that export the hardware that means after you generate it after you fil finish the compilation you would get the dot xsa file which is xilinx specific that allows you to export hardware information to the software development tool for software development so we'll talk about that in a few as well so let, now let's uh let's save this let's uh save let's do a, maybe i should clear the demo that i'm saving because i've changed something save because i've set run out to no that means we're just going to be configuring vivaro uh creating the block diagram block design and stop and we're not doing anything else so let's now jump to vivaro i think i've talked a lot with no actions let's jump to vivaro so i'm using vivaro the latest version that is out there vivaro version 2020.2 as you can see here but if you have a newer version by the time you're watching this video there's a video also in my channel that shows you how to upgrade this project to a newer version of vivaro so let's do let's uh jump like i said script phase we're gonna jump to the to the tcl console in vivaro uh gui so let's jump on there and let's uh, source this build.tcl uh script file so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump to this folder location so that's not the right one i usually copy and paste the path in the script file in the build.tcl so let's copy that over to to TCL console base. Now we're referencing to where the build.tcl file is located, and then we're gonna source build.tcl. Enter. So it's gonna do what we just talked about, and while it's doing that, I want to point out that everything will be created on the work directory. So if we back out a folder from scripts. So every other design, other development is done under this folder work directory. So the design that is being created right now is what you see here. And this is serves as a bucket. So pretty much what I'll do is I do develop test. And then after that, I get rid of it, eliminate it every time I finish a, you know, if I would like to modify or improve the design, I would work under work directory. All right, that should be done soon. Uh, it's, all right, so it's done. Let's uh, maybe maximize this window and uh, invalid top module. This is uh, popping up because I have not specified what my top module is. So we don't care about it at this moment, but we'll later on this, just uh, select the ignore and uh, continue. So maximize the window. Uh, let's regenerate layout. So what you see here is what I've shown you here, the block design that you see here. So I think the next step you would do is reconfigure the zinc to match your 
uh, board if you plan on running this on a specific board configure this uh, figure out how to set up you know, the terminal communication um, other specifics that is related to your board the next thing you would do is run synthesis run implementation and generate bit stream actually before before we do that you want to go to uh, sources and create uh, generate uh, create HDL wrapper which basically creates your top module and uh, then you would run uh, synthesis and implementation and generate a bit screen but we're not gonna do it the manual way like I said I do everything on scripts I rely on scripts so I script the most everything so we're gonna close it out and do what I just said by calling the build.gcl file which we will do everything for us in an automated fashion so now you're going to close the project let's uh, close the project okay and then after that we're going to go back to our build.gcl file and we're going to change set run now to yes that means we're planning on running synthesis basically compiling the design and right after creating the block design so you want to save that i want to show you that i'm saving that so file save close that out and then Let's get back to the this to the Vivado TCL console command line and that source build.tc file build.tcl file again. So we're gonna source. Okay, that's all right. Spell that right. Build.tcl and this is gonna take a little bit longer than last time because we were running almost everything. So at this point, what you can do is you know go drink a tea, go for a jog go take a nap or something and then we'll come back later on to talk about after, what, what do you do after the compilation process is completed so I'll just pause the video and we'll, I'll be back in a few all right guys I'm back again so you can see that it ran successfully so your project is compiled and the next thing you would do is so we don't want to open implementation design we don't want to do any of these uh, function so we're going to close that out and the next thing is to jump into software development so you're ready to start writing some c code to test your project but the first thing you would do you have to do is export the hardware description uh language file which means which includes all the hardware specification that you configured in vivado and then export it to xilinx vitas where you would start your software development so you would go to file export and export hardware like I said, in my case, everything is script. I don't do it this way. If we open the script file, the build.tcl file, I mean, you can see that probably the last line in this script file, it does that automatically for us. So we should go to this location and see the .xsa file in the, at that location. So let's open that. So if you go to software, hardware, which is that location that you see here, you can see that that dot x dot xsa file is there already so we all set now to take this file and export it to uh uh xilinx uh Vitas and start a development this will be done in the next video thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video